guys, it's William Colling from Weebly Blogs, and Serbia has chosen their Eurovision 2024 artist. It is Teodora, and she is singing the song Ramonda. That is, of course, a flower. Da bon. Hey, you guys! Should we watch and react? Let's, <laughs> Let's do this! Do this. You guys, before we start, let me just flag an interview that Teodora gave to our C. Non Sadula in Belgrade. Speaking about the song, she explained that the flower, Ramonda, is a symbol of resilience and a symbol of her country rebuilding itself after World War I. You can watch that on the WeWe Vlogs YouTube channel. The lyrics of the song go something like this. I don't have, I don't have, I don't have any peace. I have no sleep. Woe to him who is alone. Everything is quiet, like underwater. I scream, but it's not heard. Behind the mountains, a white glow. I don't see the end in sight. This time is for the wounded. And there is no one to guide me to the bright star. The world is burning. Every flower, Ramon does disappear. Well... That's a bit of a downer, all right. But from all of that grows the flower, so there is hope. Hitting pa lay. Oh, clouds. Beautiful, mysterious clouds. We're diving in. Oh, wow. Ooh, the over the same. ocean. Looking like a mermaid. Is that Lorene dressed as a mermaid? Our girl is beached. Heart. She's singing with that heart. Taya is so poised on the rocks. The way she works Looking that rock. Regal. The poise like a queen. Beautiful eyes. It's like a lullaby. Oh, I love the staging. So minimalist. Oh, I like that production with the voices coming in. Great production. That lift. Swelling voices. And the screen color change, or the background oh, the is colors. blooming as well. She's like the queen of the aquarium. Oh. Excellent floor graphics. She could be in space. Or the ocean floor. Good lighting support. Fantastic lighting. Beautiful melody. This is so musical. Melodic. Building. Brewing. Build it. Growing. Our girl's a construction lifting, worker. Lifting. Elevating. Take us higher. Encompassing, widening, broadening. This is this it's is widening. Really good. It's uplifting. Oh wow! Where'd she go? I like that camera effect. Oh, are those stars? Those are flowers. A million Ramonda. Oh. Building in her own time. Vocally very powerful. Powerful voice. Ah, oh, and the flower in blue. Oh, there's a From the rock. Conclusion, almost like in bloom. Resurgence. Wow. That flower resembled sort of something rising from the ashes, like a phoenix. Interestingly, she told our Sinan in that interview that the Ramonda often grows from rocks, like patches of rocks, and on stage she's on a rock. So she herself could be interpreted as the Ramonda. She is blooming, the singer in bloom, reaching her climax. You know, she starts off on the rock, 
she awakens, then she lives and performs, and at the end we see her bloom. Or she could also be the earth, actually. She could be the earth from which the flower does bloom. What I'm trying to get at is there's a real connection here between singer and material. This feels organic. We saw rock, we saw water, we saw air in the sky. This is very much circle of life, cycle, artist from the earth, earth giving artist subject matter and life. It feels authentic and natural. I think there are certain pop stars who want to go to Eurovision, and then there are artists who want to go to Eurovision. Teodora, she's an artist. She feels this material and I feel her. The emotion is real. It's just subtle and tasteful. And I think this is really going to stand out at Eurovision because of that. This is the year of crazy, of kooky, a post Caria storm. And in comes Teodora, giving us the emotional ballad that will pop out. This was a very wise decision. Now, I don't know if Serbians were thinking about the lineup at Eurovision. I doubt it. I think they were just voting with their hearts. But their hearts were awakened by the Ramonda flower by Teodora, and it's very good timing indeed. Seemingly rising from the ashes. I think this is really compelling. So here's the thing. In order to create a really compelling performance, it, it is teamwork, right? So vocally she's on point and the melody is really strong. There's a real sense of assurance and she's a great performer because she is present. Not only is she present, she is also connected. In addition to that, lighting designer is awake, cameraman is awake. There's a whole team working together here to create a really compelling performance. The graphics on the floor working for me. Um, I like the subtlety of this and the build it creates, creating a shift from being kind of withdrawn and insular to then just being really expansive and almost sounds like, almost sounds spiritual actually, dare I say it. I really like it. The weakest element here for me is the wardrobe choices. I, I don't get why she needs to look like a rock star. The makeup is on point though, and I like the slightly wet curled hair look. That, that works for me, but I would go for a very different, different fashion choices. But this is a minimal tweak. Um, I haven't heard the other entries at PZD, but um, yeah, this is working for me. This is really kind of amazing. One thing I would say, the staging is very dark. This is very, very dark. I think a bit more contrast between Teodora and the background would help her pop out. The wardrobe, wardrobe choice is interesting. Um, it's a little high fashion, a little rock star, a little, the styling, mm, she looks beautiful, but she's blending into the background. Like it's one thing to be on the rock. It's another thing to look like the rock. So I don't know if she needs a wardrobe change halfway through. I don't know if she needs just to brighten up the colors, but I want her to be in sharper focus. Cause right now it's all a bit ashen, you know, it's either, I mean, at times I thought it was the underworld. It's just dark. So give us some color, give us some light. They'll definitely build upon the LED in Malama. I mean, this small studio they were in in Belgrade obviously can't compare to what they will have at their disposal in Malma, so I'm sure they will amp it up. Let's actually look at the semi-final allocation draw. Serbia is in semi-final one. In the first half, we have Croatia, Cyprus, Ireland, Lithuania, Poland, Serbia, and Ukraine. And in the second half, we have Australia, Azerbaijan, Finland, Iceland, Luxembourg, Moldova, Portugal, and Slovenia. And then also voting are Sweden, the UK, and Germany. Now, looking in the first half of this show, how a girl is going to stand out. The only other song with a similar spiritual vibe is Ukraine. Everything else is kind of upbeat or wacky. So Croatia, upbeat and wacky. Cyprus, dance. Ireland, Ouija pop its own universe, Lithuania dance, Poland upbeat. So those five are over here and then Ukraine and Serbia are over here. You know producers are gonna split those. So we're gonna have 
Yeah, yeah, this is looking good for Serbia. And then the second half, we're going to have Australia, Azerbaijan, Finland, which is kooky, Iceland, ballad. Um, so Iceland's got a ballad. Moldova's got... I mean, Moldova's not a ballad. It's, it's something. This is looking good for Serbia. And Slovenia is here. Ooh, to vote. Hmm. So Croatia, Serbia, Slovenia. <laughs> Let's just say they're all getting some points. It's looking very good for Serbia with qualification. And I think that Serbia will do even better in the final when there is a jury. This song will get a lot of jury points. A, because it's going to be a standout vocal. It's going to be one of the more artistic, sort of awe-inspiring performances. The sheer talent. Plus, it's going to stand out because it's not kooky and crazy. I think jurors may get fatigue of all the kooky and crazy. And then in walks Teodora with all this emotion. Get it, girl. And another thing I love is when your CV really does indicate that you've previously been slaying. So this is a platform for elevation, not to just come and make your debut appearance and run with it. No, this is like, I have worked previously, I've worked very hard, and now I'm back with Ramonda. And if I have, if I can gather 110 million plays on digital music platforms, then you know we can push this further. We can even TikTok this moment. Yeah, I, I really like it. This is a hit maker that I'm excited about. And this is a song that is just so caressing and so beautiful. In terms of where this will feature in, um, in the sort of the running order or the semi-final, I, I care less about that. Is this a good entry? Yes, it is. Is it worthy of being a grand final entry absolutely could this be better yes you can you can create a few more surprises with this but so far yeah this is good to go i'm really happy and i like the fact that this song is in serbian but it's in serbian in a way that can still build surprises yeah uh, and still get people to sing along, right? Well, there's a very familiar quality to this, and I'm excited. I am excited. So, we'll see how this does, and we'll see if we'll be reviewing it again later on. Yeah, this has mileage, and yeah. I want to read some comments from the Weebly Blogs website. This is Basti. Beautiful. This is an easy qualifier for Serbia. The visuals are stunning too. I needed this in this year's ESC. Good luck. This is Ari. I think this is going very well for Serbia because this quiet, intimate moment will stand out so very much in this particular field we have in Malma. It's qualifying easily and the juries will go nuts for it in the final. Practically a guaranteed success. This is Colin. Teodora has one of the most beautiful songs in this whole national final season. It's an outstanding composition and a breathtaking performance. I honestly got goosebumps all over. The lyrics are also extremely lovely, patriotic without being exclusionary. The symbolism is very touching. Go Teodora. Ben says, I've watched her performance during the Serbian semi-final and in the live chat, Serbian people described her as the Serbian Loreen, probably because of her haircut. In my opinion, I feel like she is more the Serbian Billie Eilish. Definitely enjoyed listening to her and it's one of the songs I could listen to more than once. I am just wondering if it's not too much of a tender song for the Eurovision stage. Probably better to listen with headphones in a focused or relaxed moody situation. Grift says, y'all asked for a beautiful female ballad? Here's one. And the next one will be Grito by Lalandra. Please, Portugal, don't F this up. Leo M says, it's beautifully staged, sung well, and with a lot of up-tempo crazy entries this year, this will be a nice change of pace. Not sure how well it will do. Not a certain qualifier, but should make the final. And no more ESC Addicted Rights. Pretty song. I got a bit of Lorene vibe watching this. For those complaining about the lack of female ballads, you can be happy. It's a nice one. Great addition to the lineup. And the staging is on point. Good luck, Serbia. I think one other note I have is I would like a bigger climax. 
This song does definitely have dynamism within a certain range, but I think for the vast Eurovision stage, if we could pair a visual moment with a bigger vocal moment, I think that's gonna give us that standout moment that's really gonna push this through. Teodora, are you on Pinterest? That's the social media platform we need you on because your song is creating so many moods and we need to capture each element and each aspect on mood boards. Yeah, that's what I think. What do you think? And follow us on all the social media platforms. All right, well, that's what we think. What do you think? Is Serbia poised to qualify for the final? Do you love the imagery on stage? Do you like the lighting, the colors? What tweaks do you have? Let us know here on Wee Wee Blogs. And we'll see you later. Bye. See you later.